so now let us discuss on the uh, functions so that has to be satisfied by a, a battery management system so as i as i said the bms basically interconnects with uh, battery components uh, such as heat cells and uh, also the other uh, battery pack modules or uh, the system subsystems such as uh, uh, the cooling system or there is a uh, the housing for the battery pack lid and uh, uh, also the the controlling or monitoring of the the high voltage and low voltage uh, leakage currents so all this has to be uh, the interconnected with the vms system and the information will be processed and uh, necessary steps will be uh, taken care by battery management system so the functionalities can be divided into five major categories so these are the major five categories which i have listed down so the first one is the sensing and hv control so sensing involves all the uh, monitoring part of the, the each sin single battery cell and uh, also the current uh, voltage and also the control of the HV contactors and uh, so the second thing is the protection all the protection mechanism uh, that has to be included to operate the cells in safe zone and the interface so interface uh, comes into picture uh, when you have uh, you know uh, different modules and you need to uh, communicate the the battery status or uh, this uh, battery limits uh, to the external control units and the third one is the uh, fourth one is the per uh, performance management and fifth one is the diagnostics so we will uh, have a, a look in to each of these categories in upcoming slides so the first thing is the sensing and hv control so so as i said the, all the cell voltages are measured in the lithium battery pack so so we have to see the each cell voltage and uh, see how the cells are balanced so if the cells are not balanced so we need to trigger a balancing based on the uh, system configuration so so this will be the you know uh, input to the most of the uh, algorithms that are running in the uh, BMS uh, software, such as SOC and HOH, SOH uh, parameters, and uh, also this will help to see you know to avoid any overcharge or discharge of the uh, cell voltages. And uh, so the implementation part of the sensing uh, involves uh, ADC, uh, which will be um, monitoring and it will be a integrated uh, circuit and uh, also the cell temperatures uh, will be tapped onto the battery cells so the individual uh, cell temperature or a collective uh, uh, temperature or uh, it may be a, a hotspot in the battery pack will be uh, you know tapped and uh, it will be sensed by the uh, pms and uh, the third thing is the current and the pack voltage sensing where it will be uh, sensing the the current which is uh, drawn by the load and also the the pack voltage to uh, use this information for the uh, calculating the uh, battery uh, parameters and the fourth one is the isolation sensing and uh, this is very critical and uh, very safety requirement uh, for you know high voltage uh, uh, battery packs so basically this uh, will be uh, sensing the leakage current you know between the, the chassis of the uh, vehicle and the battery pack so any leakage current you know which is beyond the acceptable limit will be you know sent to the bms and necessary actions will be taken to mitigate any you know safety hazards also there is a thermal control which is a part of uh, hv control so uh, lithium ion cells you know uh, longest if maintained temperature band from 10 degrees centigrade to 40 degrees centigrade so so most of the you know high voltage battery packs uh, they integrate a thermal uh, a management system to keep the cells in at a, a lot uh, temperature where the uh, performance of the cells will not be you know, uh, irritated as well as you will be uh, cells in a safe zone also there are different controlling methods uh, there is uh, air cooling active refrigerant cooling or uh, uh, liquid cooling so these uh, cooling methods are uh, implemented based on the uh, cost of the system and the requirement 
the system you know the technical requirement of the system and the second control part of the pms is the hv control the hv contactor control where uh, the the battery pack will have contactors you know uh, on the positive and negative terminal of the battery and which will be you know controlled by the bms uh, based on the input from the sensing and other error codes so also it has a precharge control so precharge is a you know a short a short uh, contact with the uh, load that will be initiated uh, during the initial uh, sequence of the uh, operation uh, to control the uh, inrush current so these are the the main functions in in the uh, sensing and hv control so let us move to the production part so uh, so the protection has to be implemented based on the cell chemistry lithium ion chemistry used so each battery manufacturer you know they will mention the say protein range the voltage range of the battery pack so let us say the cell out of tolerance the tolerance of the cell voltages and the ambient operating conditions and uh, these has to be protected against uh, the excessive current you know drawn ring charging or discharging it has to be the bms should protect against the uh, short circuit and it has to monitor the cell voltages to maintain the voltage range within the threshold limits and it has to avoid you know overcharging or undercharging you know uh, over discharging so you have to monitor the ov and uv limits of the battery and high ambient temperatures so you have to monitor the temperature of the cells so that those cells are operating in a recommended operating temperature range and also it has to monitor the isolation as we discussed in the sensing part so these are the protection part of it so the next thing is the interface to the bms with the whether it is a internal or it's a internal or external communication so the bms has to communicate the battery status to the other vehicle control units or system control units so the widely used communication in automotive is the can bus communication and uh, you know this will be communicating with the host controller and uh, the second is the battery monitoring units you know these are the chain of uh, slave bmss which are connected in you know either in a multi drop or dc chain manner so these uh, modules has to be communicated uh, to each other and the the all the information from each battery module uh, with the help of these slave modules will be communicated to the master bms so and there is a communication between the master and the slave bms which will be a private communication uh, between the slave and master bms this may not be a can communication it could be a simple differential bus communication so this is uh, related to the uh, interface part and uh, most important part of the battery management system is the performance management so the battery management system is uh, responsible to estimate the you know the soc for applying equalization techniques to cells and uh, so this makes the voltage uh, levels of the uh, individual cells you know equal so the main requirement here is to keep the cell voltage uh, all the cell load cells which are connected in series to keep them in the equalized state uh, or you can say the equal voltages so the bms is to responsibly you know it has to maintain the cell voltages constant the cell voltages in equalizations voltage levels to keep them in a safe operating state and uh, also the soc and soh measurements will be done by the uh, pms algorithm and uh, which will be calculated on the basis of uh, voltage current and the temperature read from the battery monitoring units so you can see the uh, uh, block diagram here so we have a ivt inputs to the model based estimator which is running on the host controller of the pms and in term it will calculate the pack parameters and the energy and power which is stored in the battery will be calculated and which will be displayed to the the host application or the user so this is related to the performance management so coming to the diagnostics here so the diagnostics is a must requirement i would say to 
detect you know most of the errors that are uh, popping up in the system so one case is the abuse detection the bms should detects uh, if there is any abuse to the uh, battery pack uh, let us say the hv contact so the the contact uh, between the hv connector of the battery pack to the the load or it may be the lid on the the service lid for the battery pack so those abuse or the service related detections has to happen and it has to be detected by the bms and also it has to detect and log the violation of the voltages and current and temperature limit and indicate to the user and also it detect and log the failures you know if there is any uh, system component uh, which is failed in the system uh, such as the sensors or a contactor or any communication failures within the system so that has to be uh, logged and sent to the to the application host so this is related to the diagnostics so uh, as i said so these are the uh, the functions which are you know which has to be done by the battery management system so depending on the system requirement the selected or the appropriate uh, functions has to be implemented in the lithium ion battery packs yeah so coming to pms design so the block diagram what you see here is an electrical diagram consisting of uh, you know battery monitoring modules which which we also call it as a slave bms and a master bms which you see on the right side here so very high voltage system so you see a uh, different uh, uh, battery modules uh, you know and number of battery modules connected in series so on the left side you can see uh, there are you uh, know eight battery modules connected in series and uh, you can also see a cell sensor circuits which are the uh, battery monitoring units uh, which will be sensing the individual cell voltages and cell temperatures as well as it will be performing the balancing uh, or the equalization of the cells and these cell sensor circuits cell or battery monitoring units will be again uh, you know connected in a dc chain or a, uh, in a chain form a dc chain manner and connected to the master bms through a robust you know uh, communication network so as you can see the different other components uh, the main switch for battery positive and uh, battery negative and uh, also there is a precharge circuit uh, cdr and precharge resistor and uh, there is also control uh, which will be taken uh, to the hv contactors uh, from the master bms and there is a power measurement board which is actually uh, measuring the, the total current uh, which is uh, drawn by the load and the complete the pack voltage and the same thing is conveyed to the uh, master bms so this is how the electrical diagram of the battery management system looks like and this is basically a, a hierarchical architecture if you talk about a centralized uh, battery management system uh, so where you have a single battery module and uh, a cell sensor circuit and a control part which will be controlling the uh, hv contactors and other uh, sensing of the uh, sensing parameters of the battery pack so this is the uh, complete electrical diagram of the bms for uh, hierarchical architecture so next topic would be the industry scenario here for the battery management system so so the market for the bms in 2018 was around uh, you know 3.5 billion usd so as you can see there are more and more adaptation happening for the lithium ion batteries into you know electric vehicles and uh, telecom application so by 2027 so the market for bms is you know uh, anticipated to uh, grow by 5 um, to 6 fold by the coming 6 uh, to 7 years and also you can see the the market share here so you can see the automotive and consumer electronics is holding more and more share here so as you can see the uh, the ev market is picking up uh, in both uh, two wheeler and three wheeler and this is necessitating the requirement uh, for pms uh, in these applications and there are also other medical uh, other applications like in uh, medical telecommunication which is picking up uh, in coming years and uh, related to the job roles and opportunities so 
so you will be you know getting an opportunity into hardware engineering like uh, if you are an emirate hardware design uh, enthusiast or uh, you are looking for any uh, hardware design role so to you know, implement all these uh, functions so you need uh, hardware engineering skills so the hardware engineering uh, market will uh, actually adopting uh, more and more engineers into these applications and also there are a lot of uh, uh, demand for uh, software developers who are acquainted with uh, the battery uh, algorithm development specifically the model based software development and algorithm development using matlab so there are a lot of opportunities into pms uh, both in hardware engineering and software engineering and the system engineering so more and more people who are in uh, uh, the combustion engine uh, market so they can also move and get into this topic of ev systems and uh, you know start exploring the uh, system advantages and uh, who are involved into this pms uh, development so the companies who are uh, automotive tire one suppliers tire two suppliers and also uh, there are oems uh, who are you know manufacturing e bikes or you know uh, electric uh, four wheelers are uh, uh, developing the battery management system for their systems and uh, there are a lot of uh, battery manufacturers who are making the uh, battery packs so they are integrating the bms into their system and uh, selling the complete battery pack to the uh, oems and there are a lot of uh, startups who are emerging into the bms uh, market and supporting to uh, different uh, you know uh, oems uh, or the battery manufacturers so so this is it from my side